Hi everybody, my name is Simon Frazier and I am here today to take you through some of the improvements that we've recently made to our traffic management module, enabling highway authorities to coordinate around temporary traffic management measures that may have been introduced as part of the COVID-19 pandemic response. So let's go straight to the map and I'll show you what these are. Uh, so when we land on the traffic management module, you'll see straight away everything looks very familiar, nice and easy to use interface. Um, on your right hand side where you have your traffic management dashboard, all the selections are still available to you. And those of you that do use our live link functionality where we communicate road closures to our SatNav partners, the likes of Google, Waze, TomTom, and here, you can see here your closure management facility is still available on the bottom right of your screen as well. What you will notice though is when you go to the data layers, right at the top of your screen, we've introduced the new categories. And this is being COVID-19 safe start restrictions, which I'll talk you through as we go through today. So we have the COVID-19 road change. Um, you may have noticed in and around town centres where you live, I certainly have in Hertfordshire, a lot of temporary traffic management measures have started to be introduced in town centres, for example, where we're looking to promote social distancing measures. Um, but we can also allow you now to plot COVID-19 testing stations as well, and any type of temporary traffic management that goes along with those. So those are the two new selections that I'm going to take you through this morning. Go to get rid of that. Now, I'm now going to create my new plan. So under that, I'm going to go to create plan. And here, what I'm going to do is close Darks Lane in Potters Bar, where I am at the moment. I'm going to close it to vehicle traffic, and I'm going to introduce a pop-up cycle lane and the subsequent diversion route for traffic as well. So under step one, please be as descriptive as possible. We actually have a best practice guide um, that we will circulate. But under step one, please be as descriptive as possible without giving away too much or making it too wordy. So here, I'm just going to call it a COVID-19 social distance measures and under category you'll see here that all of your normal categories are still available to you your regular ones such as street works your public events um, but right at the top here you will notice that we've introduced two new categories being the COVID-19 road change and testing station as I'm introducing a change to the, um, the permanent road layout uh, temporary road change I'm now going to introduce a COVID-19 road change, and so I'm going to select that category. Now I'm just going to plot that location as a point and drop it towards the bottom of Dark Slane. It's important when you are dropping the point of where your um, testing station or road change is going to be that you consider where you're dropping it. Reason being is that we want to make sure that that um, icon, if it relates to a station or a change, um, is as visible as possible on the map so people know instantly exactly what's happening. Now, on the description, please uh, branch out a little bit more about what's happening there. So, this again, this will be visible to the public and users of the map. So, I was going to say CV19, road closed to traffic, pop up, cycle lane in carriageway. Something along those lines. I'm sure you can come up with something a lot better than that, but um, that's, I think that's a good start. Link to works, there's going to be no permit, so I'm just going to leave that unticked. Now the dates, I'm going to leave it as a start date of today, uh, but for my end date, I'm just going to try and make that as wide as reasonable. Um, no one knows when this is going to end, so I'm just going to select the end of January 2021. Leave my enforcement patterns as they are, this is going to be enforced 24 hours a day. Add to group, we strongly suggest that you do set up your own um, COVID-19 response folder. I've done so here, so essentially what that means is that all of my TM plans can now be associated with that folder and filed away in the same place. Um, for my own sort of reporting needs and, and filing history. So I'm just going to go into COVID-19 response. And now my TM plan is going to be filed away nicely in there. Now, step two is all about actually plotting the temporary traffic management measure and intervention. Now, we strongly urge you to make sure that you plot absolutely everything on the map. That way we can share as much information as possible on the OneDot network platform, but also to our data providing partners as well. So I'm just going to select a road closure. In the first instance, those of you that do use Live Link, please make sure you do tick this box. This will enable us to communicate that with drivers. Um, so this will now start to appear on the likes of Google, Waze, TomTom, Apple here, start to appear on their interfaces, and we can really start to influence driver behavior and get them away from Dark's Lane. So now I'm going to scroll down, plot that road closure. I'm going to go from this junction here to just past the bridge, and that is my road closure plotted. Just going to add that. Now I'm going to plot the subsequent diversion route as I would normally. So I'm just going to select diversion route there. Inherited dates from step one. That's all fine. 
I'm just going to plot my diversion route. Let's start it from there to there. And now I'm going to pick that up and just drag it around. So my diversion route starts to get automatically populated for me. Perfect. Just going to add that. And now what I'm going to do for this last stretch here, I'm just going to introduce my cycle lane. So under my traffic management intervention, you will see here we've added a couple more traffic management types. So you see here in response to the COVID-19 pandemic, we've actually added a couple more. So we now have emergency access routes, um, cycle lanes, which I'm going to do today, widened footpath, pedestrian ISO, anything you think of in terms of a TM intervention can all be selected within here. So now I'm just going to select a cycle lane. And now we can do with cycle lanes, we can introduce these in either lane one, lane two, or lane three. You can add lanes as you wish or even remove them if it's only a single lane carriageway, for example, a one lane, um, one way road. Um, but for the sake of this demonstration, I'm actually going to allow the cycle lane to be implemented in both lanes as I'm shutting the whole carriageway to vehicle traffic. Now I'm just going to plot that route again as I would a road closure or diversion route. And that's how we start it here and finish it off just there. That is my pop-up cycle lane. Click add. So those are all of my traffic management interventions that I'm going to use uh, for this temporary road change on Darks Lane. I'm just going to save that. Always encourage people to save at step two, just in case. Now I'm going to go to step three, which is where I would normally create my TTRO order, uh, my TTRO notice, um, the plan, the tra traffic management plan, whatever it may be. And also my email alert, start to circulate this information to stakeholders, bus companies, um, whoever it may be really. Uh, but now I'm just going to publish that plan to the one dot network map, save that. And that is now displaying on the one dot network map and that is being beamed out uh, to the public to statutory undertakers incredibly useful for statutory undertakers because we know they do use this map to coordinate uh, around especially as they start to re-engage their work program they can see quite clearly that actually if they do have any work on darks lane they can see that there's a temporary cycle lane in place so again that just drives their thinking behind okay i need to think about di different traffic management types for example what you will see here for our live link users just at the bottom here darks lane is now being added to my closure management interface when I click on Darks Lane, get a big red button to close that road. I'm just going to shut that road down now. Get a little warning to make sure this information is accurate. I'm going to close that. By doing so, that information, that road closure is now disseminated out to our SatNav partners. And now that is all visible to as many people as possible. Now when I click on it, you'll see that the information I provided, so for example, the cycle lane, all the information I provided earlier is in here. So social distancing measures and also road close to traffic, pop-up cycle lane in carriageway. So incredibly powerful. And you see how quickly that was for me to do as well. Now, if I wanted to plot this testing station, I would just go back to my traffic management map. Perfect. So that little icon there, that beacon there, is now telling me that that road closure at Darks Lane is now being communicated out um, to our StatNav partners, and that will start to appear on Google. Uh, if I just now go to create new plan, I'm now going to plot the subsequent testing station. So again, here under step one, just be as descriptive as you can. CV19 testing station. Plot that location. Just going to drop a point. I'm just going to drop it opposite. So I'm going to go down Baker Street. Select my category is obviously the testing station. You can see there my icon is now visible. And under description, I'm going to say um, testing station, Monday to Friday, 9.30 to 4.30. Again, link to actually blank. Now please make sure with um, something like testing station, you are actually using the enforcement pattern uh, function. So for example, here I'm just gonna say Monday to Friday, this is incredibly important because it means that we can share this information with our data partners so that they can see that this particular station and any temporary traffic management measures that are associated to it are only active during these times. Add that to my COVID-19 response group again. Now I'll go to next. Now there may, there may be, not be any temporary traffic management measure related to a testing centre, but for the sake of the demonstration, I'm going to input a suspension of parking because what I want to do is give pedestrians as much room as possible to access the testing station without coming to too close contact with anyone else. So I'm just going to plot that 
parking suspension. I'm going to stop all the parking from here to there. That is my parking bay knocked out and that is my testing station plotted. Now again, I'm just going to save that. And you see there, all plotted for me. That icon is now active and blue and as, it, as I'm still within the Monday to Friday 9.30 to 4.30 time, we go to next. And step three, again, I would just create my TTRO document or the TTRO document to spend a parking, for example. And now I'm just going to publish that, click save, and then go to home. And then that is now visible to the public, to the stash undertakers, to anybody visiting your one dot network platform, to anybody visiting your embedded maps, um, and also to our data providers as well. Thank you very much. I hope that was useful to you. Please let us know if you've got any further questions.